You are listening to part 9A of the podcast series, 21 Qualities of a Leader. Quality number nine is generosity. I could speak all day on this area. And so let me talk to you about having a generous spirit. What, when you talk about leaders that have a generous spirit, what are we talking about? Number one, they think others first. That's just how they think. The measure of a leader is not the number of people who serve him, but the number of people he serves. Generosity requires putting others first. If you can do that, giving becomes much easier. But whenever I find somebody that's going to be a young leader, I always ask them the same question. I ask them, why do you want to be a leader? It's a great question. Because what I have discovered is they're going to tell me by their answer how successful they're going to be. If they say, for example, I want to be a great leader because I love power, or I want to be a great leader because I think that I'm going to make a lot of money and I'm going to have a lot of perks and I'm going to have a lot of privileges, I realize that their leadership is going to be shorted. What I'm looking for when I ask people why they want to be a leader is not an answer that basically says, if I'm a leader, it's going to help me. But I'm looking for somebody who basically says, if, if I become a leader, I have the privilege and the opportunity to make things better for others. Because the only reason to become a leader is to add value to other people. That's the only reason to become a leader. And if you're leading for any other reason besides I'm wanting to add value to people, I'm promising you're going to shortcut yourself, your motives are going to be wrong, and you're not going to last very long. You certainly are not going to last over the long haul. Leading becomes an illegitimate exercise when leaders consider themselves and their interest over the people they lead. What I have discovered is, I have discovered as I go to developing country, that the number one problem with leaders in developing countries is they always put themselves first. And many times they literally rape and fleece the people so that they can live well. Now you say, that's terrible. That's why developing countries don't do well. That's exactly right. But I can tell you something else. In corporate America, I see this happen. I see all of a sudden me doing this me first and what's in for me and what can I get off of the top and let's not worry about those other people. This is wrong. That's why I wrote the book, There's No Such Thing as Business Ethics and based it on the golden rule because if you live your life by the golden rule, you're not going to live this kind of life.